All right, now this update isn't gonna be a long one, but it's it's kind of an interesting one, right? Leilani Simon has been put in protective custody. I'm not, well, I, I can understand why. I've been in jail, obviously. Uh, so I can understand why this is with this being such a high profile case, but there was something I gathered from this story that I found to be extremely interesting. I'm JB Gunner, this is JB Gunner TV. Let's do it. Bring it back. What's going on, everybody? As you guys know, I'm JB Gunner, and this is JB Gunner TV. Now, before we get into this, I want to say first and foremost, thank you to everybody that supports the channel and my entire network of channels, regardless of the method you choose, whether it's Cash App, Patreon, Venmo. Truth is, guys, I couldn't do this each and every day as often as I do if it wasn't for you. So thank you so much. And if you do find value in my content, feel free to hit the links down below and support the channel. Join the Gun Squad today. While you're down there, subscribe to all my other channels, my live stream channel all of this uh, my twitter my odyssey my rumble just in case youtube takes me down that's where you can find where i'm going to be putting my content there's all there's just you never know uh let's just say that twitter's the best place to follow me link is down below all right so let's get into this story now let me a little bit a little bit of uh uh a summary uh, of the past. Leilani Simon, as you guys know, uh, she has now been charged with the murder, even though I don't believe she did murder, uh, Quentin Simon, her 20-month-old son. Typically, I would go over the entire process of this story, but most of you guys already know it. In general, though, with this story, it's very simple. I believe this woman uh, was a lazy, neglectful mother, I believe she overslept or was drugged out. I believe her child ran off into the swimming pool, drowned, and then she ultimately hid slash threw away the body. I do not believe under any circumstances that Leilani Simon committed murder. Is she still a scumbag in a lot of ways? Yes. Murderer? I don't necessarily think so. But nonetheless, she is being charged with murder right now as we speak, and she is in jail. Now, that's pretty much where we're at right now. So, with this being said, this case had so many different things uh, brewing. It had YouTubers causing trouble. It had, it was a media circus, right? And one of the things that I think a lot of us saw as this case unraveled was Leilani's mother, let's just be honest with you, just being goofy. Um, she betrayed her in, in the very beginning. Now, I'm not defending Leilani here, but I'm just saying what the truth is. Leilani's mom, in the very, very beginning of all this, She's the one that went on Facebook and said, my daughter admitted to me that the baby's in the landfill. Now, I, that was dumb, right? And then she tried to, you know, uh, she tried, kind of tried to put it all together and be on Leilani's side in a lot of ways. But behind the back, she was talking to the father of Quentin Simon, and she told him, I think the baby drowned in the bathtub, and I don't know anything other. So she, you get the picture. She was talking way too much. Then we get to the very end. Leilani Simon had checked herself into rehab. Uh, she was going to check herself out, maybe even run. And guess who came back to betray her again? Billy Joe Howe. She went and picked her up, uh, went and took her out to eat. But before she did, she, t she called the FBI and said, well, I'm going to go pick her up. What do you want me to do? They said, well, hold her for a couple hours, stall, and then bring her in. Well, Lock her up. You see what I'm saying? Basically, she worked with the FBI to once to get to turn in her daughter. A lot of people wondered is, uh, was this something that would bother Leilani? Did she consider betrayed by this? I'm here to tell you the answer is yes, and the proof will be in this video today. By the way, tonight we'll be going live um, if you guys want to join us, but I got a, uh, a couple different videos I got planned for this channel coming up soon. I do got an Idaho report that I, uh, update that I'm going to probably do today, but tomorrow I'm going to do uh, an, an enti comprehensive breakdown of the entire Delphi murders. I have not done any Delphi murders on any of my channels since it happened in the last five years. I think I may have reported it when it first happened, but I wasn't doing true crime and shit, digging in, anything like that. Today, I'm gonna do, or today I'm gonna probably record it, I'm gonna go in a little deep on the Delphi murders and give you my opinion on it, because a lot of news is coming out, and before we get to the trial, 
uh, in the Delphi murders. I want to at least have my opinions and everything out there when it comes down to it. All right, guys, let's not let's quit bullshitting and let's get to this story because she has been put in protective custody. Now, let me also say this, guys, before you think, well, she's suicidal and all this, I want to make this clear. She's probably sad. She's probably scared. Suicidal? Maybe. But here's the truth about this. She's a high-profile case. They were going to put her in, in PC no matter what. She's a high-profile case. And because so many of you guys, you don't think and use your head, so many of you guys jump straight to the conclusion and say, Leilani Simon's a murderer, then it's people like you that in jail would get her killed. Now, I'm not defending her. I'm not saying that it's cool to dump your babies in trash cans and landfills and shit like that. But what I am saying, it's you people that jump to the, jump the gun with no evidence at all and say, well, she must have killed him. Well, no. Well, tell me why. Give me a piece of evidence, not circumstantial. You can't say, well, because the court was going to make her pay child support. That is a potential motive, but that's not evidence. There's not a single piece of evidence that we know of as the community whatsoever that Leilani Simon has ever murdered or killed a single soul. Now, was she neglectful? Is there potential manslaughter involved, uh, neglect leading to a death? I believe so, but that's also not what she's charged with. We have went over this. And if you guys haven't seen my opinions on this, check out some of my older videos. I'm also going to go back and do a comprehensive collection of all my late Quentin Simon, Leilani Simon, and then, of course, the De Debbie Collier videos because that channel is now down. And now, you know, a lot of you guys don't know my initial takes on all this case, right? But we're going to get to that. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on over here and let's check out this news. This news is coming from WD... W... Uh, RDW, uh, whatever the fuck they're called. Let's just go ahead and get on up here and play it. Leilani Simon, the mother accused of murdering her 20-month-old son, Quentin Simon, is still being held at the Chatham County Detention Center after no bond was set in her case. Yesterday, we heard from her mother, Billy Jo Howell, who took her to the Savannah FBI office to be arrested. She told us that Leilani was on suicide watch, but that she hasn't spoken to Leilani since she was arrested last week Monday. Now... I just want to stop it there for just a second. Leilani is in suicide watch. They talked to the mom, and the mom said, we have, I haven't talked to her. I want to make this clear to you. The, the, the officer will come out here soon and tell you that actually Leilani has an opportunity to talk to her mom. And this is something that I'm focused on. Leilani is deciding not to talk to her mom, and I think it's a fucking fantastic idea. Leilani, if you ever get a chance to watch this video, if you ever get a bond or you bond out, listen to me carefully. Do not say a single fucking word to your mother about anything. You're, I mean, you're making a smart move by not contacting her. Your mother is the entire reason you are in jail right now and has been the entire time. Don't get me wrong. You may have been went to jail for some other shit, but she's the reason you are in here for murder right now. The dumbest thing Leilani could do in this criminal trial, in this case, is begin to blab and talk to her mother because her mother has already proved that she will blab and talk to the internet, the police, the sheriffs, and even turn her in. And now a lot of you guys may say, well, good for Billy Joe. I get it. I get it. You, you, you want to paint her as the good guy. But the point is, as for Leilani, I think Leilani right now might be smart enough to notice that and say, I ain't calling this bitch at all. Maybe. Okay. Well, WTOC Shea Schrader joins us live outside the detention center now. Shay, what is the word you spoke to the sheriff today? Chatham County Sheriff Don Wilcher told me that Leilani Simon is being held in protective custody. That means that she's in a cell by herself for 23 hours a day. The other hour she is allowed out to take a shower and do things like that, but she still spends Listen. that time alone. Wilcher tells me that it's not a punishment when they put inmates under those conditions. It's for their own protection. Sometimes, sometimes it is. I'm not going to take and put her in general population. If I did that, I mean, I would have 
a disaster on my hands. Exactly. People have the wrong ideas about You got to keep in mind, this is still just a 22-year-old little fucking girl. Listen to what I'm saying, man. This is still just a 22-year-old little fucking girl. Now, I get it. If she did commit crimes, she needs to pay for them crimes. But let's be honest. Does she deserve to be bludgeoned by, by harder criminals? Does she deserve to be murdered in jail? No. Unless you're one of those people that truly believes she murdered her kid. You can't possibly think that she deserves to be murdered. Right? I'm just being honest. Now, if she killed her kid, yes, death penalty. But that's not... I don't... Do you guys really believe that? Do you really think that she murdered her kid? She just seemed like a party whore to me. But go ahead. And a lot of people will say, well, she's guilty of this, she's guilty of that, and it's not my job to determine that. Exactly. That's up to the courts to do that. Bam! Well, good cop. Are in the it's a good cop. Center, Wiltshire says that it's his responsibility to treat everybody humanely and keep them safe from others and, in some cases, from themselves. In addition to being in protective custody, he tells me that after Leilani was brought to the jail, a mental health professional determined that she needed to be placed on suicide watch. When an inmate is under suicide watch, they often stay in a padded room and wear smock instead of regular clothes. If they got their clothes and they can try to hang themselves with them, and you know, if they're in a, a room with a, a sink and a toilet in there, they try to break that and hurt or harm themselves or whatever. So, you know, you have to take all precautions you can to make sure that they are taken care of. Wilcher says Agreed. at the end of the day, he and everyone at the jail treat each inmate the same, regardless of who they are or what their charges may be. It's a good thing to we, say. We could care less what the charges are or anything. Again, I'm just a holding facility, and we treat everybody in this jail the same. And that's the way it is. Good shit. That's some good shit. Leilani waived her right to appear at her arraignment last week where no bond was set. She is due back in court on January 11th for a preliminary hearing, but until then, she'll be here at the Chatham County Detention Center. So January 11th is when we want to cover her net, her first preliminary hearing. She had this little bond hearing, but she didn't show it. She wasn't there. And, of course, they said it, was, it wasn't in their jurisdiction to give her a bond. So Live in Chatham County, Shay Schrader, WTO. I wonder if she's being charged federally. I don't think so, right? Now, there was something there that they did not say on the thing, and I wanted to show you this. Um, I wanted to show you there was something specifically, right? Leilani's mother, Billy Joe Howe, said that she hasn't heard from Leilani since she was arrested. She says when she called into jail and asked why, they told her Leilani couldn't make phone calls for security reasons. However, Sheriff Wil Wilcher was asked about phone privileges. She can call her family. Check this out when she's out for her hour. She can also put a message on the kiosk to text them, or she can do a visitation with them on the kiosk. That's up to her. That's not up to me. That is for some reason wasn't in the news report, but I, or what we just watched, but I want you to see that right there. Leilani Simon can 100% reach Billy Joe Howe, if she chooses to, she's choosing not to. And that is key, because let me tell you something right now. When you're in jail, and I can tell you this from experience, bro, you want to reach out to any motherfucker that you think can help you. Make no mistake about it, and especially if you're depressed, which I'm sure she is. Every inmate is suicidal, especially in the beginning. Trust me. Not really suicidal, but it's, it's something that runs through your head a little bit, right? I'm going to be honest with you. The fact is right now, the fact that she's not reaching out to her mother says everything you need to know. Maybe she's being smart right now. And I, maybe she, her attorney is telling her not to. And hopefully she, that's why she's not. And I know what you're saying. You want her to call her mom. You want her to catch yourself up. No, I, would, I just want her to have a fair trial, right? That's all I want. All of you guys have sat and bashed this chick uh, over and over again. You left that fat babysitter off the hook. You let Billy Joe off the hook, and you just hammered and hammered and hammered Leilani. You let the boyfriend off the hook. You just hammered and hammered and hammered Leilani. And I'm not saying she didn't deserve it. But what I am saying is that she deserves at least a fair trial without it being sabotaged by her dumbass trailer park trash Dope fiend, attention whore of a mother. 
She's not an attention whore, JB. She was the first person to ever do a news interview. Remember the very beginning? Remember that? And then she did, well, three more now. So, plus she's even doing YouTube channels and shit. Let's be honest here. Leilani Simon, here's the truth. I don't think she's guilty of murder. Guilty of uh, uh, doing something with a dead body? Yes. But I'm also going to say, who's more likely to have put that dead body in that dumpster? Her or her boyfriend? We'll let, we'll, let, we'll let things play themselves out. But I actually think Leilani Simon's making a very smart move. And you got to admit, it's smart. But make no mistake about it. She has the opportunity to text and call her mom. And she's choosing not to do it. Which also means she's not suicidal. Because if she's making decisions intelligently about her future, and she's consciously saying, I ain't reaching out to that fucking mom, she's probably talking to her lawyer about it. And that's why she's not doing it, which means she's focused on trial. Which means she's focused, maybe, and not thinking about offing herself. So make no mistake about it. She's being put in a hole and in PC as simply for one reason and one reason only, because it's a high-profile case. That's the truth. But guys, let me know in the comments section what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I love hearing what you guys think. If you like what I do here and you find my content valuable, feel free to hit the links down below. Support the channel. If you guys want to see some of my live streams, if you're not a snowflake and you don't mind politics and shit like that, uh, hit the live stream channel or any of the other channels down below. The Odyssey and Rumble is always a good spot. Uh, hopefully you guys will follow me outside of this true crime shit, the, the crime thing that we do here. But if not, it's cool because I'll be right Right back we're gonna start diving into a little bit more of these cases the idaho update even though it's not much i got it coming next we will be talking uh on about that next up love you guys i'm jb gunner this is jb gunner tv you guys all have a fantastic day peace out